Tell me kind of this, the problem that you're trying to solve and what you're doing for big broadcasters like ESPN. Sure, sure. It's, um, well, the problem is about quality and about the experience of online video. It can be that we're extremely passionate about trying to help content companies improve the quality of online video. Um, what, the way we talk about it is we help them protect their audiences from the things that audience hate. Like if you're like me, what you hate is right when you're watching very compelling video, at the worst possible time, it starts to rebuffer or stutter or the audio gets out of sync. And uh, what, we've been, what we're able to do, Kaviva is able to do, is help content companies preempt those conditions. And what we've proven is that people who you know, get interrupted watch less video about 30 to 80 percent fewer minutes. We're very complimentary. We work with both Microsoft and Silverlight as well as Adobe Flash. Uh, what we do for them is help them select the optimal bit rate at an exact moment in time. Really what we're always looking at is engagement. So we make adjustments when we see that it's going to drive more minutes viewed. And so that's how we sit. So in the case of, in the case of um, you know, Adobe's relationship with ESPN and us for the World Cup, we are actually sending intelligence into the Flash Media Server to tell it when to make a bitrate adjustment, as an example. We are taking statistics. You know, we're tracking state of your experience in real time. We can do it as frequently as every second. Um, we have algorithms that are predicting, inferring, when you're about to get interrupted, ripped out of that user experience. Um, and before that happens, in the player, we, make, we can make two decisions, depending on the characteristics we see as to the cause of your interruption. We can throttle the bitrate if you're watching at one megabit per second and you're about to go into rebuffering, we can drop you down to 700 kilobits and bring you right back up as soon as your buffer starts to fill again. If we detect and, and, and diagnose that the problem's out in the internet in the delivery network, uh, maybe it's on a particular region within a content delivery network, we can actually midstream switch you to another delivery network or another resource and keep it synced and smooth to avoid that problem. Are you managing this process or implementing this process in North America or overseas or what's sure. the scope of it? So right now, as of today, we, have, we are in um, 52 different brands, mostly in the U.S. So a premium, premium brands, you know, like, like Fox and ABC, Disney, ESPN, NBC. We have a customer in, in Italy and in Norway, um, Australia. So we're starting to get um, pulled into those markets, mainly by people who have seen what we're doing for U.S.-based media companies. In terms of consumers and consumption, how big the problem is, it is, I do think it's a tidal wave coming. You know, today, according to Nielsen, in the U.S., um, on average, people are consuming about four hours of, of video online a month. But if you look at how much total video is consumed, you consider traditional television, that's 141 hours of video per user per month. So whether that comes to the browser in the traditional internet sets or whether the internet comes to the television, it, the consumption is going up. And so... Traditional delivery networks on the internet have got to be able to scale to handle that. So that's one factor of the tidal wave. The other is just the, the expectation of higher and higher definition. The, the most premium streaming companies are delivering, you know, sort of in the three megabits range. You know, it's sort of the norm right now is still in the 700 kilobits per second range of quality. Even at the highest end, when you start con considering, well, how do you compare that with the expectations of consumers on standard definition television or high def television or Blu-ray disc? Standard definition television is what, and DVD is over double the bits per second of three megabit stream. If you go up to HD, that's about five times. And if you go to Blu-ray disc, it's well over 10 times the bits per second. So you've got the, con the convergence, so more consumption you know, across connected platforms, and then the higher expectation of bits. You know, the largest day on the internet so far, you know, according to you know, major USC content delivery networks, you know, has you know, peaked out at about three terabits per second. If you assume that you know, this convergence happens and you know, people watch television kind of scale hours per day, you're talking close to you know, 200 terabits per second of sustained traffic. Those networks have, you know, are not necessarily 100% ready for that. In order to manage that and manage the variability that's inherent when you are scaling these networks so rapidly, You've, you're, you've got to be all the way watching the user. You can't be trying to do that from the center of the network. And so we think we have a role to play because we're watching every individual user. If you encounter variability in your zip code or on your own you know, edge of the network, you know, we see your frame rate starting to slow down. The second it happens, we start to move you to a safer place, therefore balancing the effect of flash crowds and other things. So we, work, we, we want to work with all the content delivery networks, all the telcos who are trying to prepare for this storm, and we think we add a level of sophistication to help them manage through that.